I'm Steve Craddy, and welcome to probably my first instructional video. Although I think it's going to be one of my most important videos, it is how to care for a bonsai tree after it leaves here. One of my greatest apprehensions is when I, when I sell a tree um, and it's going to be given as a gift, the folks, the recipient needs to know what to do with the tree. And I try to go over this with the person who is going to give the tree, and I feel pretty comfortable with most people. Uh, so anyway, uh, uh, we have done two things. We have, uh, Im we have improved the care sheet, which is kind of a step-by-step. -step. It's a little more clear on uh, all the, the, the essentials, the watering, the light requirements, and such. So, and the other is this video that we're doing, because I'm going to actually show you what to do with your tree from the first day when you get it home. The most important thing to understand in bonsai is correct watering. And correct watering is often watering. And this summer has been especially challenging for us, especially for smaller trees. So, but uh, uh, we, have, we have stayed with it and uh, have, uh, you know, kept everybody healthy, whether they're in a two inch pot or a uh, three man to carry pot. Uh, when you're outdoors, summertime, it is always best to have a, uh, a, a nozzle. We use the thousand hole nozzle, which we just get rave reviews on all the time, and we sell them here at the store. And some type of wand, I like the shorter one. Uh, but anyway, uh, uh, we get the water flow. We want that water flow. Look how cool that is. We don't want it to knock the soil out of the pot. Because if I go like that, it's going to flood the, the soil over the side. Whereas if I just quickly reverse that, lay the water on there, make sure I get the back of the tree as well as the front, and then then uh, then at the finish, do the top. Doing the canopy of the tree with a little bit of a forceful spray will knock any insects that you may not want on your tree, it will knock them off. Um, after that water has gone through, you see your surface, you do it again. That's a very difficult thing to get across to my customers, and it, but it's the most crucial. It, the fact is, the soil after hours cakes and it takes a lot of watering to, to get it to start taking water again. So that's why we do the two times. My wife actually does a third time. It's just a good insurance policy that you're not going to uh, have a damaged tree during the summertime uh, heat. Well, the summer season is about to leave us and we're going to start moving our uh, more tender trees indoors and we'll be disconnecting hoses for the outdoor trees. So, so therefore, there's uh, uh, devices that we use to take care of the uh, infrequent watering for the outdoors, but the still frequent watering for the indoor plants. And we have a good, we have a, a good system for that. Uh, if in the, in the perfect world, uh, this is a copper watering can from Japan. They're handmade and they do, do the gorgeous flow of water similar to the one I showed you on the hose. Uh, they're quite expensive, but uh, just a, uh, a beautiful artistic watering device. Uh, thank goodness the Dram Corporation has uh, given us a more cost-efficient way to approach this. And uh, it's, it's, it's superior in some ways because you don't have to worry about dinning it up and it's very user-friendly. It's, it's a good size to use, especially for like an indoor situation. I'm going to water this tree right here. Uh, we have these, we have these really nifty uh, trays that are good for several ap for several applications, and one is the watering for indoors because you're, you have a, a a catch area, which is perfect. Uh, and same situation as the first. We want to really get give it watering, a full watering. Let that water run through, and then do it again. Watering is very therapeutic. 
and many of my clients look forward to doing that as much as an operation on the tree such as pr uh, tr pruning and repotting. Now that water is already about to run through and then we'll repeat the process. My bonsai soil across the board is a very porous uh, uh, product and uh, we do this for a purpose so we can feed the tree uh, we're going we're gonna to stay away from root rot. It, the, in, in, in Bonsai tw uh, 2000s, we're going to avoid root rot, and the, that's the way to do it, the, the proper soil. Soil is your tool. Second to watering, the proper light is your next highest priority. Uh, where we are sitting right now, I have a special 50% shade cloth. This would sort of be the same as having high canopy shade in your yard uh, to where you had good light, filtered light, but it was very filtered. And so that kind of light is what, what we uh, use for the, the, uh, the elm trees, the boxwoods, uh, the trees that will, will thrive in that condition, but will suffer a little bit if they're in just full hot sun all day. This is a Japanese juniper, and the lighting requirements for this are better the sun, the happier the tree. Uh, where we are standing right here will be full sun in a couple of hours, and then it will get full light for the rest of the day for where, where this tree actually lives here. And this is a Kishu Shimpaku, and I'm going to make darn sure that this tree sta stays happy. It's well over 35 years old. Other trees that require full light are anything actually in the conifer family, especially the black pine, the Japanese black pine, and the Japanese white pine. It's very crucial that these go get full sun, uh, you know, seven hours or better. When the holiday season rolls around, we usually put out there some form of a bonsai kit. Well, this year we've actually going to offer a kit that's going to actually include one of these really cool trays, which are, which are super for doing work on your trees in your house, or especially if you live in an apartment and, and don't have the ability to, to work outside. It just keeps everything very neat and clean. The kit will come obviously with this. It will be inside this will be nestled a tree, uh, a bag of soil, and tool and book, and you'll be set and a watering can. <laughs> <laughs>
for winter display, we've gone over the, the proper watering procedure. After the water runs through the, my very, very porous soil, you still have droplets of water, so uh, most folks like to have a watering tra uh, a tray to catch the water. And this is a, an official humidity tray, it's from Japan. And what we like about it is it's rigid enough, it holds up forever, and uh, it actually doesn't take away from the, uh, the look of the pot or the tree, and that's, that, that's what makes it perfect. And uh, thank goodness I was able to fill in on every size, so uh, I have a, a nice stock of every size of the humidity trays. When the tree's outside, we see an explosion, several explosions of growth, especially with tropical trees. Uh, this is a subtropical or tropical uh, Golden Gate ficus, and we just cut this one back uh, a couple of weeks ago. As you can see, it's already shooting out new growth. And uh, uh, throughout the winter, I don't mind a bit if you, if you actually uh, cut back the terminals uh, on each limb if you would like. The, the rule is you don't want to cut back into the old wood of the tree. That you can do in the summertime, but you don't do that in the winter. So we basically just get in here and we cut back leaving a set of leaves. And that's all you have to do. When someone leaves here with their new tree, uh, I'll send home one rule that gives the person a chance to play with the tree, to change the tree a little bit, without the fear of doing any damage at all to the design of the tree that's already set. So I'm going to use my, my, one of my favorite Shimpaku Kishus to show what we can do with this one rule. And the one rule is we want to keep the tree nice and open uh, as it grows, like this tree is just loving it. It arrived here in February from California, and it loves Georgia. So it's just growing like crazy. So uh, it's already filling in, and that tells me I need to get in there and kind of to thin it out just a little bit. So we just take our trim shears, and it's, it's kind of like the first cuts are no-brainers. And what I want to, to impact you is what I'm doing cannot hurt the tree. Cannot, I can't be thinking, oh, what if I cut off the wrong branch? We're not cutting off branches. We're just actually cutting off clutter that's blocking the view of the tree, and this will actually increase the health of the tree. So uh, this is going down. This is going down. And immediately when you do this, you'll like your tree, you'll like what you see, you're going to like looking in there. Now, what Mr. Ishii had done on this tree to create such a nice zigzag movement is actually kind of hidden by all the new growth that's happened. So, uh, not, not on this limb here, is, the growth has actually kind of moved over. So I know that I need to remove some of that. Again, I'm not bothering that branch at all. All I'm doing is making a couple of cuts, and, and, and a couple of cuts is all it takes to be able to, be able to peek into that tree and see the, uh, the, uh, the excitement of how it's been bent uh, through wiring and pruning. See if there's something to be, oh yeah, definitely. Right here, awesome trunk it's sort of it's it is it's awesome any either any way you look at it but if you just take that one little step of cutting this one little down piece all of a sudden you you're seeing another third of that trunk that you weren't viewing and uh, we have to show that off it's just uh, it's one of the most awesome attributes of this plant thank you for taking the time to view this video I hope it helps in some ways to help you enjoy bonsai even further. Uh, you could have one bonsai tree in your life, and it'll be a beautiful element, and just maintain that one or two or three trees, or you can turn this into an exciting hobby where you'll want to take this to a much higher level. Uh, this fall, we will be offering uh, several classes, uh, intro introduction to bonsai classes, as well as a couple of masterpiece classes. We will keep you informed. <laughs>